Hello friends, in this video we make an aryl halide bromobenzene via the direct bromination of benzene. Benzene or substituted benzenes do not directly react with bromine in cold, but does so in the presence of halogen carriers like pyridine, iron, etc., which increases the electrophilic activity of the halogen. Materials required for this preparation includes 14.2 ml of benzene, 1 ml of pyridine and 10 ml of bromine. Start by taking a 250 ml round bottom flask and pour 14.2 ml of benzene into it. I am using a 3 neck round bottom flask for convenience in the next step where I add the bromine. Now I add 1 to 2 drops of pyridine using a glass dropper. This is synthesized few days back by the decarboxylation of niacin and I have done a video on that you can check that out. Pyridine is a halogen carrier. You can also substitute that with iron powder around 1 gram. Now we place it in an ice bath on a stirrer and a reflex apparatus is arranged. The top of the reflex condenser is directed via a rubber tubing into a beaker containing water. An inverted funnel is attached to the end of the tubing in order to prevent the suck back. With constant stirring, slowly add the 10 ml of liquid bromine through the side neck. 10 ml of liquid bromine was measured in a graduated cylinder. A reaction soon commences that is exothermic. An ice bath will help prevent much of the bromine from vaporizing and creating an environment of bromine. Continuously stir until the vigorous reaction settles down. What is happening here is the direct bromination of benzene in the presence of a halogen carrier like pyridine to form bromobenzene and the side product hydrobromic acid. Hydrobromic acid is produced as vapors and that is collected through the rubber tubing into the water where the hydrobromic acid dissolves. Once the vigorous reaction settles down slowly, increase the temperature to around 60 to 70 degrees Celsius and maintain for around 40 to 45 minutes. Most of the unreacted bromine will now be removed. Always have a good amount of sodium thiosulfate solution ready with you just in case if any bromine accident occurs, then this solution is lifesaver. After about 45 minutes, we pour the dark solution to around 200 milliliters of distilled water taken in a separatory funnel and shake and vent until all the unreacted excess bromine is removed. The crude bromobenzene settles down to the bottom of the separatory funnel which is then drained into a small 100 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. And this step of washing is repeated similarly two to three times with distilled water and 5% sodium hydroxide solution. The final washed product was then drained into a round bottom flask and was set up for simple distillation with a water condenser. To make the distillation go faster, cover the distillation head with an aluminium foil for even and faster heat transfer. We collect whatever that comes over between 150 degrees Celsius to 170 degrees Celsius. Whatever that distills out before 150 degrees Celsius is probably the unreacted benzene and side products like the dibromobenzene and other products and even water. Our required product is this with a cloudy white color to it. We then redistill the product and collect whatever that comes over between 154 degrees Celsius and 157 degrees Celsius. Once 
Once the temperature crosses above 157 degrees Celsius, the distillation was stopped and the receiving flask was taken out and capped. And this is the final yield of almost pure bromobenzene. You can see that the color of the solution is still turbid and this is due to the presence of water in it. The water present in bromobenzene can be removed by drying it by adding few grams of anhydrous calcium chloride to it. The final yield of bromobenzene after drying was about 12.5 grams which is a pretty decent yield. Thank you for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server. I will put a link to that in the description. If you can donate me financially, you can do that via Patreon or PayPal. Links of both of them are given in the description. Thank you.